Eric from LA asked, how do I know if I'm ready to get married? What are some questions I should ask myself that she should ask herself and that we should talk about with each other? Great. So first of all, um, you cannot prepare yourself to, to, to the relationship, to, to the marriage. You can uh, check yourself if you're ready to, for the wedding. But to the relationship, to whatever it takes after, no one can prepare himself because no one can predict, no one can know, no one can tell what's what going to happen, where life is going to take you. The only thing that a person should uh, check about himself is if he's got the will to give, to listen, to hear, to be there for someone else. If a person still sees that the main reason that, for that reason he wants to get married is to take something for himself, to enjoy, to satisfy himself, to answer his needs, so it will not it will not going to succeed for sure. It's going to be hard. It's going to take a lot of effort um, to wake the per person, uh, wake up the person, because what it really it takes for a relationship to succeed is to have a will to help each other that the husband will want to hear and listen and to care about his wife and the wife going to want and going to care about her husband and about the children then. And you need to see that you're not selfish. And as much as you're going to work on that, to have that will inside of yourself to love and to care and to listen and to help and, and to give from what that you have to dedicate. So then you're ready. You, you prepared yourself as much as you can. If you have that will, life going to demand from you to give more. Life going to squeeze it out from you to give more and more and more and more. So what that you need to check is if you have that will, the basic will. If that's the reason that you're getting married, because you want to help, because you want to love, because you want to give, if you want to receive and you want not to be alone and you want to, I don't know what, so then it's a problem and you're not ready because life is going to demand you to give and to care and to love. So what are you going to do then? So if you have the will to give and to care and to love, so you're on the way. Um, okay, so a lot of times... Um, the couple can find themselves as very different people, that they have different goals in life and that they were dreaming about other things in life. And the couple needs to understand that. They need to realize that my mate is different. And uh, it doesn't mean that the shidduch, that the marriage was wrong and that there is a mistake here because uh, uh, the, the, the pot and the, and the cover are different. There are two different vessels and they fit. That's exactly how that it's supposed to be. As much as they are different, that's how much they can fit. Even if they're totally different, they can fit. And it's a, it's a, it's a very deep and inner secret of the relationship. The only thing that can help them to match is the communication. So first of all, to answer that question on what to talk, first of all is to talk. To talk and to talk and to talk a lot, as much as you can, to see it and to talk, and to set time for that. Me, after 15 years of, of having a good relationship with my wife and talking a lot and deep conversations, in my last conversation, time I spoke with, with the Rebbe Mibiale, he told me, I need you to do something hard. I told him, what? I'll do everything. He said, I need you to talk to your wife, to listen to her for 20 minutes every day. I looked at him and I told him, I do more than that. And he told me, I know. But I need you to listen carefully to what that she says at least 20 minutes a day. And when I said it to my wife, that the Rebbe Mibiale told me that I need to listen to her for 20 minutes a day, we need to talk. So she told me, 
but we're talking a lot more than 20 minutes every day. So it's not like I'm hallucinating. <laughs> no, we are. <laughs> we're talking a lot. But you need to listen. You need to listen more. Once Rav Shalom told me about rebukes and insultings, he said you should receive the bizyonot, le kabel et bizyonot be'avah. You should receive the insultings with love. So I told him, but I do receive them. So he told me, yes, but not with love. <laughs> yes, you do, but not with love. Okay, you receive them, but not with love. You need to love the one that rebukes you. You need to love the rebuke. You need to listen. Listen to the voice, what she's telling you, what she wants to say. So the answer is to talk on what we should talk. You should talk on what that you have in mind. You should talk. Every couple are different. Everyone have different backgrounds. You need to talk from your heart. You need to develop your relationship to talk like best friends. She needs to talk on whatever she's got in her mind, and you need to talk, and you need to dare to share. And of course, there are things that need to come with time. You don't need to expose everything in the first meeting and, and uh, open the closet that all of the, the skeletons are going to run outside on the first, second date. No, okay, it's okay to progress. It's okay to take the time and to share and to see if, if you... As long as you're going to work on your relationship, it's going to be more stable and more solid and more strong. And then you can share more, you can talk more. And you, it doesn't mean you need to hide. And you need to say, I have a lot to say. I have a lot to share. I went through a lot in my life. More things, I'm sure you're also going to have more things to say to me in the future to come. Need to prepare yourselves. I know that I said to my wife something that was very important in the beginning of the relationship. I told her, even if we're going to come to the worst situation of them all, even if we will feel that we're fighting and that's it and we're not fit anymore and we want to, to, to separate, I don't know what. I told her, so you're going to live on the table and I'm going to live under the table and no one leaves the house. We're going to fight. We're going to, I don't know what. We're going to break the house to pieces. No one leaves the house. And I never left the house. But she always came back, <laughs> so it's okay, it's okay. We both uh, fulfilled our obligations, it's okay. So you just need to, to reveal your will. I want to give, I want to listen. I promise to you that I'm going to fail. I want to be the best husband, I'm telling you. From my life experience, I'm going to fail. But give me a chance. Know my heart. My heart is that I want to succeed. I want to do good. Help me. And if I'm not listening to you, tell me. You're not listening to me. You told me to tell you. You're not listening to me. Talk about things as open and open, like it bodadut, like tefillah, like 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 self-awareness. You need to 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 be aware to yourself, and for that you have that friend to live with you to help you to work on yourself. If you don't want to work on yourself and you don't want to take responsibility. The, the relationship we're going to find yourself in a lot of difficulties.